Hello, 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 everybody. This is Dr. Steve Early Craft Doctor. And so um, I'm here because I want to make a flower from the Garden Lily Collection. So what I did was I cut out the different size flowers there's three sizes i thought it was only two but they're the large and the medium is together and so i cut out the flowers as you can see i took my sponge dauber and i went yellow in the middle a light pink did i use chalk ink um i don't remember which ink i used um, but then I went up, oh, I used my mementos because I use my mementos with this. So let me show you the ink I used. I used this pink here for the edges and this pink here for the center. And I went in dark with this on the edges, I think. No, I used, um, no, I didn't. I used quick dry from, excuse my reach. I use this Fuchsia Quick Dry from Heartfelt around the edges. So I went in with the yellow in the center. I did the pink here. And then I did this type of technique around all the edges. And then if you can look at them, they seem shiny. Because I put um, glossy accents on them with a sponge and let them dry okay so that's how i ended up with all of these pieces and i did the same thing to the leaf to the leaves all of these okay so then the next step to this is to actually run them through the shaping mold. okay so i have my shaping mold it's the garden lily shaping mold okay and I think one or two leaves can fit face down like that and then we have one big one one medium one I think and three smalls And I have them all faced out. Okay. Like that. And then these have uh, notches on three sides and it's a slit on the other side. So that helps you know where to, how to put this together. Okay. Like that. All right. So then I'm going to go get my with this you can't use um your like impress or anything like that and so i use my platinum six from spell binders pause you right quick and get the plates okay i hope i got the right plates i don't know they should fit though and so all i'm doing is putting them like that and run them through i just feel like the right plate so that one's too soft around there I'm about to use my slap, slap, snap plates. These are two snap plates for my snap machine. And that'll give me a little bit more. Yeah, there we go. Thicken. Okay. Thicken. 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 Thicken.
Okay. So with this, then you'll take them off. And oh, that one broke. But that's okay. It's all right if it breaks. Because you can look how beautiful that turned out there. Um, even though that broke, I'm gluing it in there anyway. But look how beautiful that turned out. Texture. And then this is the texture on it. Okay. So. Then we're going to do another one. Oh, that's a big one. I can't do two of the big ones. got to do this one. And I would normally spray these, but I already have um, that glaze on them. So that's why I didn't spray them. But you want to make sure if you put this, that, uh, mm -mm, if you put uh, the glaze on there first before you send them through, that you uh, let them dry. round to go okay and then this one just one this just one I got some plates, spellbinder plates, but I know they're packed somewhere, but that works. Okay. Move this. Okay. Now... want to combine these together to um, like that together but I want to give them a little bit more dimension so I'm going to take my little mat here and my ball stylus and I'm using the second to the biggest and I'm just adding a little bit of a little bit more. How come this one don't look like it's shaped? It don't look like it's shaped. I must have forgot to put that one in there. Okay. Okay. And so this one will go on the bottom just to add a little bit more upward motion to that. See how I'm doing that? And then it'll stick up just like that. Okay. I'm just, I'm just pushing in the middle. You see that? I'm just pushing in the middle and it's pushing it right up like that. Right in the middle. And then, oh, that's the wrong size. I don't go with that. This one, 
I'm pushing right at the end of each one right in the middle that makes it sit in a cup like a cup like that see that okay so this one is a small one I'm gonna put that like this and this will sit right in there I'm gonna do this small one grab another small one and the good thing is since I ran it through the shaping mode I don't have to worry about shaping the leaves too much unless I want some extra shape on the leaves okay then we got these two is the small ones okay And because I got that glaze, I have to push a little bit harder because they're, they are thick. See that? They are thick because the glaze is on them. But that's a good thing. Okay, how many flowers? One, two, three, four, five, six. Six. And I'm, since I'm doing them, I might as well do these seven. That'll be seven flowers total. And if you want them, them to cup, cup more, just double this pad up and it gives them more. See how it's going higher, thicker, taller, rather. Not thicker. Taller because, look, single layer is a nice and small. Double layer, nice and tall. Because you're giving more to push into okay so there you go that's that one okay so i'm gonna set this aside now okay so <clears throat> this thing they you can buy these well I, I think they're out because when i just went over to their website they were out when i went to look um on um online it said out of stock because and emma lou said you got to buy them until they're gone and then when they're gone they're gone and these are the stems so i created my own and so we're going to see if this really works if it really works which it look like it will um i'll tell you i'll show you how it worked how i did it so i'm just pulling these to different directions right just like that. I'm just pulling them out to different directions. And then I'm going to put this aside because I want to use my glue gun. Remember the right ry ry Ryobi? And I'm just going to put a little dab of glue in there. And I'm going to match these up right like that. And I'm going to just push this down. And I'm just holding it so the glue can stick. I'm working on my glass mat because it's easier to pull up this glue off my glass mat. See? Um, okay. And you just need a dab of glue. And be careful because this glue is hot. I have a tendency to do it with my finger, so I do it with my finger. But don't do it. It's hot. <laughs> Please don't do what I do. Because sometimes... And then I'm just making sure that you can see all of the leaves, okay? Just like that. And this one. And um, I'm going to do it on the next one. Okay. If you don't want to worry about putting it in here, just take this part and put it on the bottom here. Okay, 
and then put it in there and push it down okay just like that did I get them all I think I got them all one two wait one more one thing about this it's very stringy I think I didn't get them all. Nope, I got one more. And that's the last one of those. And so see how the glue is peeling up easily off my glass mat. Okay. So now if you let me get one that's dry okay so if you look at them and be like oh i want this curved a little bit more then take something that has some roundness to it and you can round them off like that and this is just an ink pen you can use your pokey tool you see this is my pokey tool I don't, I try to use some round because if I use some round, it'll wrap right around there. Okay. And then you can put them, see if you want more lift. That's if you want more lift, that's up to you. Okay. So I cut one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, wait, two, four, three six seven yeah seven of these so there's seven flowers okay the oh wait i didn't i missed one. that's because they were sitting all sitting up there that's okay yeah let's get it together okay we are there we are good Yep, we all good. Okay. Just bend them right around my pokey tool to give them a little bit extra oomph de oomph on the edges. Okay, so then you take this, and she put her biggest flowers on first, and so she, that's the way she did it. That's how I'm going to do it. And then what she did was she just put the glue directly on the stem piece, and she stuck this to it, just like that. So see, I kind of won't do that i would prefer to add the, some more glue just to make sure it's on there okay and hold it and let it sit in the glue okay because that's what she did you know what i wanted to get oh um i have a sticky or a silicone mat where's that silicone mat Because glue doesn't stick to silicone. So that'll be even easier to work this out with. So see, nice silicone mat. This is a diamond press silicone mat. Okay. Okay, and so see, it won't stick. Okay, so let's... Pop some glue right here and put our flower on there. OK. 
Okay, right there. And then this is the next biggest size because there's only two of those big ones. We're going to put some stuff right here. stick okay we're gonna put some a dab of glue right here and then we have one down there we're gonna put a dab some glue right here. When I watched her video, she actually put one down low. That's why I added these smaller ones. So I'm gonna add some glue. Can y'all see me? No. Nope right here and that just going to be down low right there and then i'm going to twist this one right here because i'm going to put this one right there and then bring it back over here a little bit more and i'm going to just add some right here This one right there. And I'm just laying it down just so it can catch that glue. Oh, that's still kind of sticky. I wanted to catch that glue on there. Look at that. Don't that look so cute? Okay. Now we'll pull these all up and with the silicone definitely even better than the glass mat look at all of them are stuck so this one was the one that was over here that I pulled up too soon but I'm just going to put it where it need to go because that glue is still semi and I'm just going to add some more glue to it which I will do that to all of them just to make sure that they're really glued on their stems from the back. It won't hurt them at all to get that extra reinforcement. See this one totally, oh, that's because I did it further down. Okay, and then let those all dry. Okay, um, I know when you get ready to do this as a bouquet to give to somebody else, you can get a little ring and a uh, punch. Let me do it right now. I can, let me reach around, but it's not. Or is it in front of me? No, it's in front of me. Mm -mm. Here. No, that's not it. Let me show you. You can get a small little punch. punch this here and punch out and use this to cover up your mechanisms like that 
see it'll cover them up just like this my concern would be the smaller ones I'm not sure if you can cover them without seeing them in the front oh yes you can yeah pretty much okay so or you can find one smaller than this I think this is a one inch punch you may be able to find a three-fourths punch let's see this is that yeah this is a one inch punch so i know there's a smaller size one a little bit smaller than this one because i have it somewhere i just cannot find it but that will hide the back mechanisms okay so then now i've created a mini bouquet that i can move around my wires bend them in place to make them have a little personality like that then them different ways to give them some personality let's bring this one forward here and that one back and then we can bring this one a little forward like that that all right don't get hidden in the dirt there buddy this one right here and so i kind of have these like a stair step kind of situation and we can bring this up like that and look how cute that is right and so you just you work with it until you can get it to look the way that you want right however you want to look what I want is I want to hold this down yeah, there I wanted to pull that part back and you can fuss and mingle and finagle as long as you want to but look how cute that is look how cute that turned out and it's a bouquet if you feel that you your wires are too long you can cut your wires down and i know one of them is too long because i accidentally cut it well i didn't cut it i just left it the length i had it but look at that right so look at the dimension on the flowers okay so then you want to take your leaves and you want to incorporate your leaves in here. So all you got to do is add some glue and incorporate your leaves in your design. And so all I'm doing is sticking it on the back just like that to incorporate some leaves in my design. And I only cut out two leaves and a long one. So that's why I only have a few. But because that tour, that gave me an extra one. And then do we want to put this in here somewhere? Yeah, let's do that. Let's, let's cut this. Just like the other one tore. We're going to cut that. And we're going to put that one right there. So I'm just going to add some glue right on the top here. And I'm going to stick this one to this one. Hiya. Put that right there. And then we're going to add this one. We're going to take this little nubby piece that I cut off. And we're going to cut it out the way so it won't be shown. 
And we're going to take this glue. Oh, wait, in the front. Put the glue in the front, Geneva. And we're going to just add this one to this one over here. Ouch. It's glue. Hot glue. Hot glue. It's hot glue. Right there. And then I have this this one right here and we're gonna just slide this baby right over here so this side has some too so I'm gonna take this and add a little glue right there and I'm gonna slide this baby right underneath this one right underneath that one hot glue it's some hot glue and so see that gave us some greenery around our design gave us some nice greenery around our design and so the next step what you want to do is you want to add some glitter to this because you want it to be glittery and so i have glitter In a bowl. See, I keep my glitter in a bowl because it makes it kind of easier to work with when I put it in a bowl. Okay. Let's see taking my this dries clear glue and you can do this beforehand or afterwards it's up to you you stripe on your glue you can do what however you want your glue to show up like that and see I have a some spoons it's probably down in there <laughs> see these cocktail spoons and you could just sprinkle your glue I mean your, your glitter right on your flower just like that see See our, the glitter, or you can take a hot dog. Okay, just burnt myself with the hot glue gun. Mm, peeled off skin, little camera. So you take your sponge and you put some glue on here, just like that, and dab it where you want it just like that so then it only goes in certain places and I don't know what that is and got glue I mean uh, glitter come on camera there we go glitter And the one thing about heartfelt is once you add that glitter, it just do something to the flowers. It just does something to the flowers and make them look that much extra special.
and that's why I have the bowl so we can kind of go everywhere I have a spoon in here no I don't so I'll leave this one in here okay let's go to something else so now I have glitter on my on my design okay and then this is another trick that I do this is another trick that I do and I get this from the dollar store Okay, so the other thing that I do is I spray the top of it with hairspray. I spray the top with hairspray so that um, the glue can set. But I have some of this lacquer glitter stuff that I'm going to spray right now. I can't find my hairspray, but just in, go to the, the 125 cent store or wherever you like and get some hairspray. And and it sets in, and this is just Mod Podge glitter or gloss, works the same way. It will set in your, um, your glitter, right? So if you have some of that, it works also. And it sets your glitter in. Spray it in a well-ventilated place, please. I have a fan going. And so it, it helps with the circulation. But do it in a well-ventilated area, please. Please, please, please. Well-ventilated. I think this is fabulous. This little glue gun is so light. I might end up having to buy a couple of more for my classes because I have a few seniors in my class okay so now we have my flowers that are looking beautiful but they look a little boring don't they they need some litter some rhinestones some stones some something in the middle some something that's going to give them some little oomph to oomph so since these are pink we're going to go for the pink ones and so I'm going to put some glue On there and you can use any different I have all different kinds these are from diamond press but I do have the bigger ones that I have from Michaels um, but any ones you like um, there's some from uh, I can't think of the name of it mmm uh, there's some from Joanne's, Michael's, anywhere. And I also have some beads to go in the middle of them. Let me put you on pause right quick and find these so I can show you what they look like. I am so mad, y'all. I have been doing this whole thing, talking this whole time, and forgot to press resume. <laughs> but I want to show you what they look like. So this is what this is. These little things here, if you, if I didn't say, are bead caps. They are, uh, oh no. I'm not recording this all over. I'll just show you the bead caps. This is the other color that I have. One of the other ones I have. So these are bead caps. This is what these are. And you take them and you take one side this way, one side that way, and you put them together like this on each other side of the bead. So the bead is here like that. Y'all know what bead caps are mostly. Um, and that's what I use them as centers. And so I put them in here after I used my glitter and 
I used the Dry's Clear Glue. And the Dry's Clear Glue does exactly what it says. I put a whole big glob on that and you can see it's starting to clear up. These will all be clear when they dry. See that? It's almost clear. And they dry. it dries clear so you can see how beautiful it looks when it's done. And so now we have a flower bouquet made with stems, right? And I need another greenery right here. And so you know where I'm going to pull it? I'm going to go right here. And I'm going to take this one because it's getting on my nerves right there. Pull this off. I'll take my glue gun. Oh, this burn is getting on my nerve. I need to go take care of it. And put it right here. Look at that. It just did somebody just putting that right there, didn't it? Yes, it did. Look at that. I would not have I would not have been able to do this without seeing their bead thing. But I was so um I was like, I'm not paying the price for the um stems because you only get twelve in them for like eleven dollars or something. And I'm like, okay, it's got to be an easier way to do this. Plus, I was going to buy them. And then Emma Lou said on her last video where she used them, get them while supplies last because they wasn't going to be there anymore. And I'm like, okay, so that means if they're not going to be there, how am I going to teach how to make flowers if they can't get the stems because once what you have. And so... I said, let's investigate and figure out how to do this. So let me show you what I did. This is, um, this is an extra long video, but let me show you what I did. I went to, over to Michael's. I went right over to Michael's. And first I looked at Emma Lou's video. I need to use my vacuum for this glitter. This is a whole nother project I'm working on up there. Okay, I'm going to turn my glue gun off. Okay, I went to Michael's and I got some of these. These are, let me give, show them to you. Wire, a uh, stem wire, 18 gauge, and there's 12 of them in here, right? Okay, these is seven stems. You only really need to use six if you do it the way Emma Lou did it, kind of, sort of. You only need six. Okay, so there's 12 in here. So what I, this one's not the one that's open. And you need some floor wire. What I did was I looked at what she did and I estimated my size. I took two of these. So if you use two of them, for each one, you would get six flowers for $3.99. I think this was $3.99. I have to check my bill. So you can get six flowers for $3.99. $8 will make 12. But that depends on how big you want them. If you don't want to use this big size, and just use smaller ones, you can make them even smaller. And this is what I did. I took the wire and I measured it on my thing to three. And the first one is three. See how short that is? It's three. I took my little wire cutters and I cut this at three. Then I took the next one and I cut it at five, two inches bigger. It's two. So that's three, five. Took the next one and I cut it at six. That's that long one in the middle. 
I'm sorry, that's that long one in the middle. Add six. And then that leaves you with this extra one, which is like four and three fourths almost. So you have six, five, four, three. So that gives you six right there, right? I mean, four, duh, four. You could stop right there and just do four flowers if you want to. One, two, three, four, which will really be five. Or you can use this one, and I can cut this one at six. 